Hello everyone, welcome to the United Devils. Today we're going to be talking about our FA Cup tie against Watford. Do I think that we need to rest players? Yes. Do I think that we should rest players? Yes. I feel like the league's our priority at the minute and we've got a really important game coming up against Burnley. If we win that, as you all know, we go three points clear at the top of the Premier League. Watford are still a decent side. I think they're sixth in the Championship and they've not been relegated long. They got relegated last season. Now, they're going to come to Old Trafford. They're going to want to prove themselves. They're going to want to let everyone know they're coming back up to the Premier League next season. And there'll be no better way than getting a win at Old Trafford. We really need to stop them from winning because two cup exits in less than a week is pretty tragic. You go from being really optimistic and excited about the season and then you go out of two cups. Imagine what that would do to the players. So how to line up? I think Dean Henderson's important in net. I feel like we need to rest De Gea and I feel like it's important to use Dean Henderson. He's a very good keeper and he very well could be the future at Manchester United. I picked Ted Amengi at right back. I feel like it's important to start bringing these players in uh, to the first team. If they're going to be staying at the club, there's no reason in cup games to keep them out of the team. If Ted Amengi doesn't start for me, I'd like to see him shipped off somewhere on loan and start playing for another club, getting first team football. I think it's really important in his development. We don't want to have another Jesse Lingard on our hands. Although I don't think it's a good idea, I feel like we'll go Bailly and Tunisabi at the back. I feel like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer really likes Lindelof. His pairing for the future is Lindelof and Maguire. I feel like the derby, he played Lindelof and Maguire. I hope it's because he's resting by and knows that if he plays too many games in a row, typically he gets injured. Hopefully that's not the reason. Hopefully Lindelof and Tu and Zabi start and Bailly can play at the weekend. But my prediction is that Bailly and Tu and Zabi will be back in this team. All he loves Lindelof and Maguire. I picked Tellers at left back. I feel like it's really important to have Shaw ready for the more important game in my opinion, which is Burnley. We haven't had the chance to go top at this point in the season since Sir Alex Ferguson left, so I feel like Shaw's the more important person to play out against Burnley. Therefore, I choose Tellers in this game. Tellers isn't a bad choice, don't get me wrong. He's a great second to have, and that's kind of where I think he should stay. I don't think they should be swapping them out. I feel like Shaw's a better player overall. People could argue that Tellers gives us slightly more going forward. I'd play him in this game. I think Shaw's more important. Teller starts for me. So I'd play the diamond in midfield with two strikers. I want to see Matic holding. I want to see Donny van der Beek and Fred in the middle. And then I want to see Juan Mata going forward. Nemanja Matic needs to play to rest other players. I feel like he'll be good in this game. Against lesser opposition, he kind of comes into his own. He's still a very important player for our squad. It'd be nice to replace him. But whilst he's here, he's very important in that centre defensive mid position. I feel like it's really important to get Donny van der Beek into this team. He's not playing enough football in my opinion, although you could argue that we're playing very well without him at the moment. I want to see him play more. I feel like he can add so much to our team. I feel like he might have even been a decent choice in the City game, to be honest. It would have been nice to see maybe Pogba come off for Van der Beek. I feel like he could have had something different to the derby. Probably wouldn't have still won the game, but it would have been nice to see him get a bit of a run around, to be honest with you. I feel like you keep Fred, one of the senior players in there. I feel like Fred's so important to our team. The energy and just keeping the cohesion of the team. He'll work hard for us and I feel like we need to do a lot of running against Watford, especially if we're not playing our wide players and we'll be playing two up front. And then behind the striker, I'd go Juan Mata. Play Juan Mata there simply for the fact that we won't be playing Bruno Fernandes. He really needs a rest. He looked like he needed a rest in the Manchester derby. There's no way that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to start him. If we play Juan Mata in the number 10 position, you imagine that Watford are going to be sat back. I feel like Matt has got the skills still, even if his legs have gone, to unlock that defence and get one of our strikers through on goal to score. I wouldn't mind if you swapped out Juan Mata and Donny van der Beek, to be honest. I don't think that that would be too detrimental. I feel like Donny van der Beek can do just as good a job as Juan Mata. I'd just play Donny van der Beek further back because he'd be doing more running and I don't think Juan Mata has the legs to be running around so much, if that makes sense. One of the strikers I'd pick is Mason Greenwood. He's not been playing great recently. Uh, he's not really been in the team as much as maybe we thought he would be at this point. I feel like in the future, you're going to see Mason Greenwood playing up front. Yeah, why not let him get some practicing against Watford? They're a lesser team and uh, I think he'll do really well against them. And then the final spot was either Rashford or Martial. The reason I went for Martial was because Cavani is going to be coming back into the team and I feel like Martial will get a rest from that. I feel like Rashford often gets overplayed and I feel like sometimes it's a hindrance to the team. Rashford needs to get as much of a, of a rest as possible. And I feel like if Pogba's playing, Rashford's always going to start on the right because the competition he has is Dan James, who actually prefers being on the left anyway. Rashford's really important to us this season. Uh, it's really important to keep him fit. 
I feel like he's more likely to get in behind than Martial and a bit more of a goal for it. I feel like Martial links up the play a little bit more maybe than Rashford does, but Rashford's the one that's getting in behind and getting the shots away. He's really important in the team. Maybe not as important as Bruno, but still very important to this team. I'd like to keep him fit, therefore I'd go with Martial up front with Greenwood. I feel like we'll beat them 3-0. I feel like it'll be comfortable. I feel like a lot of the players I've picked will want to prove themselves. They'll want to make a good account of themselves against Watford. So they're going to be very motivated. We also went out to City. I don't know if you know about that. They'll also want to right that wrong. Get us back in the win column. 3-0, I think we'll beat them quite comfortably. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me and let me know what score you think it will be. If you'd like to check out more things from me, I have my own channel, Red Devil Army. Links will be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.